What's up beautiful nature family? We are letting the beast be loose and following the water. This nice English lady yesterday showed us this place. And it's beautiful. It's basically a little bit closed completely. So you can just let Dino loose. It's close to the road. In this place is he can go out still. But he doesn't really want to go out when he's in this little water paradise. He loves water, not when it's big waves, but otherwise. And you see this beautiful view. You hear the birds chirping. Heaven. We meditate in day and night. Every moment, full presence, full awareness. You gotta stay safe on the road. On the motherfucking road. If you didn't know already, welcome to the show. <laughs> it's called uh, Nature and Sunshine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it's the two most important things on this whole planet if you're gonna be like that. Nature and sunshine is like the source of creation almost, right? So imagine if nature came in human form and the sunshine came in human form. And then you're watching this and you're like, ah, now it makes sense. And then the 666, the number of the beast, is chilling with them in the back. He's in the back seat, he doesn't get to drive the car. When the beast drives, there's just chaos everywhere. So don't let 666 drive. Oof. Today, <laughs> this is not my day today for driving. But I'm gonna get us home. It's all it's good, home. we just got a little scrape. We scraped the person in the little uh, parking lot. No one was there, so we were like, God forgive us, peace. <laughs> <laughs> In the law of the Lord, meditating day and night. Climbing up mountains. Whee! And our exhaust is what? Or has a hole in yeah, it? We have a hole in our exhaust pipe, but we've had that since Sweden. So it sounds extra. Yeah. mission got some oranges a few avocados and some lemons straight from the trees ja. rasta for i we're home i went to a herb shop found myself some maria thistle or milk thistle seeds for liver healing and just detoxification in general helps cleanse the body and my favorite herb right now, salsa parillas. And then we were in one fruit shop and we found what I've never actually seen like this before, which is real raisins. With the seed in it and everything and the whole stick. Like literally just dried grapes. You rarely ever see raisins like this, at least not in Sweden or any other place I've been to. Job blessings. Look at this. If you don't know what this is, it's a sherry moya. Almost like soursop, but not really. But they look very similar. Taste. I haven't even tasted a soursop, so I don't know what I'm saying. But this tastes like ice cream almost. <laughs> when you get the perfectly ripe one, and they're almost always good. Unless you get to let them get super soft. But I got a super perfectly ripe one the other day. And it just reminded me of like childhood memories of eating ice cream. I don't even remember which one it was. But it was giving me nostalgia because it was tasting so fucking good. So, Sherry Moya. Feel the love. Just a little bit of fruit for the people in case they get thirsty and hungry. So, 
beautiful nature family. I just had a shower. I'm drying my hair in the sun. Um, and I just wanted to finish today's little vlog. I hope you guys enjoy the adventure and stay tuned for more daily vlogs. We have, I'm gonna show you one thing, one thing, one thing. Stay tuned for more vlogging things and gardening things and everything. And this is basically our first sprouts of anything. And it's dill and uh, salad. Beautiful. So, with the sun in my face, I say thank you for watching and see you next time.